Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the four items. What they all have in common is they all have peanuts, some sort of peanut butter or peanuts. Uh, four totally different brands though. This is the French Squirrel. It's peanut butter chocolate clusters. And then we have Pop Crunch peanut butter caramel. Uh, this is the Peanut Bliss toffee covered peanuts. And this one's Taylor's um, Salted Caramel Brittle. So all of these were found at Home Goods, but they were different prices. So the French Squirrel was $7.99. $7.99 at Home Goods. The Pop Crunch was $3.99. Uh, the Peanut Bliss was $5.99. And the um, Salted Caramel Brittle was $4.99. There you go. Okay, so we're going to do the most expensive one first. Um, I'm assuming it's because it's from from France, France but it's not. It's <laughs> from manufactured for French Squirrel in Los Angeles, California, and it's it's the lightest probably of all of these. It is a 4.2 ounce, 120 gram bag. It says peanut butter chocolate clusters dusted in date sugar. It let's see. At French Squirrel, we encourage you to be fully present with your mind, body, and food because real whole food is about how it makes you feel on every level. So, this, it says it contains peanuts and coconut. It, the first ingredient is gluten-free cereal. Mm -hmm. So, you have cereal, corn flour, pomegranate juice, um, dark chocolate, uh, peanut butter, date sugar sea salt or uh, a lot of this is it's organic, organic. That's why yes it's more expensive. yes <laughs> so yeah uh, eight dollars for this little light bag four servings are in the container a fourth of the package 30 grams is 150 calories so we are going to weigh these so we can show you 30 grams it is a resealable bag yeah, I was thinking it was from France, and that's why it was so expensive. This literally looks like cereal. We'll that's have what the to... front looks like. It looks like cereal rings. Yeah. Where are we going? 30. Close enough. 30. 30. Exactly 30. So these literally look like, like a chocolate-coated Cheerios. Pretty much looks like that. Except they got stuff on there, and there's no stuff on there. It's really bitter. Well, it's hilarious how they can charge that much for cocoa dust for and cereal. Cereal, rings. I could do that myself. You could buy Cheerios uh -huh. and somehow coat them with something yeah. and dust them with cocoa. I think Literally unsweetened baking cocoa is what it tastes mm -hmm. like. Yeah, they are nice and crunchy. They are, I agree. And not sweet at all, though. No, no. Honestly, mm. I don't know why that bag is eight dollars. No, there's no reason. But for what's it. funny about that is all the other bags. They put uh, the tag on the back of the bag at Home Goods. They hide this one. That <laughs> one's <laughs> hidden on the bottom because literally I didn't pay any attention. I just grabbed it thinking, oh, this will be three or four dollars. They put it on the bottom. I would have had no idea that was eight eight bucks. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, There's no peanut butter flavor at all. No, no peanut butter. It tastes like a dark uh, cocoa mm -hmm. uh, with cereal. That's all it is. Yep. It's not um, even, I mean, if it was sweet, it might be a little bit better, but it's not. No, it's not sweet at I all. Don't. Not I would, for that much. No, I, I don't think that's worth it at that's all. That's worth like a dollar fifty. Yeah, and no, <laughs> no peanut butter. Okay, this one is popcorn with a crunch. This is Big Dipper, Big Dipper Food Company. Pop Crunch peanut butter caramel. This is a six ounce, one hundred and seventy gram bag. It says the perfect pairing of tasty popcorn smothered in scrumptious caramel and a rich peanut butter coating. A sweet treat with a pop crunch that's sure to satisfy. These are made in Youngstown, Ohio. www.bigdipperfood.com Six servings, one third cup or 30 grams is 140 calories. So we're going to 30 again. This looks really good. 
I would expect it to be a little bit more, but no. That's it. That's all you get. It smells good. It, it does. It smells like a peanut. Again, not very sweet. Better than this. I like it, oh, and no. honestly, I could eat the whole bag. Oh yeah, I could you absolutely. Eat the whole bag it's hard to believe that that right there is 140 calories. Um, it's a shame because my serving would I could truly sit on the couch and eat all this. Mm -hmm. It really does um, uh, taste like though natural peanut. Okay. I, 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 um, it tastes like just peanut instead of pea. There's not a lot of sweetness there. No. And I wouldn't have known there was any caramel at all. I'm sure the caramel is giving it some kind of sweetness. It's probably that crunch you're getting in there. Yeah. It's I do basically like caramel it. corn with some kind of peanut powder on the outside is what it tastes like today. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. It doesn't get stuck in my teeth though. A little bit. But easy not to eat. I think it's very easy to eat. That is something that if you don't like an incredibly sweet peanut butter, you will like that. I think it's really nice. It's a bad. Um, it, again, it's not very sweet, but but it's good. It, it's more, like you said, it's more peanut than peanut butter, but it's good. Now this is a heavy bag. Mm -hmm. This is a 16 ounce, 453 gram bag, and it was only $5.99. Uh, so it's a Peanut Bliss Premium Toffee Covered Peanuts. Toffee coated peanuts indulge in the perfect harmony of sweetness and saltiness with our delectable peanuts, irresistibly flavorful. These peanuts are a delightful blend of sweet and salty notes, creating a snack that satisfies every craving. These are made in the Nuts Shop in Middlesex, New Jersey. Uh, it's thenutshop.com. And it says 16 servings are in the container. One ounce, 28 grams is 130 calories. Okay. What are you going to do? <laughs> don't get many. You don't get many. I could literally eat this. I could pop that half of that in my mouth at one time. If you've ever had bark peanuts, these so have like no. They look like them. They look. They have the lumpy, bumpy look. Those look just like bark peanuts, peanuts except they're a different color. Kind of hard. I would see that. Mm. They just taste like really crunchy peanuts. Mm -hmm. Wow. You better watch your teeth. I can break a crown off of that. I'm tired of spending big money <laughs> on those teeth. <laughs> I've had to get caps. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like those. I mean, it's not that I don't like them. There's just nothing there except really, really crunchy sugar coating on the outside. Mm -hmm. And peanut. Like raw, raw peanut. Mm -hmm. So, you don't really get a lot of salt. Nice. Um, you, I do think there is some sweetness there, and they are incredibly crunchy. So I think that is what's probably appealing to people about these is that they do have that crunch. There's only um, 50 milligrams of sodium in a serving. So, yeah, yeah. I, I do like the sweetness level. I think these are the, out of everything we've had, I think this is the sweetest thing so far. Probably. Um, but it does taste, uh, it's, it's, it's a raw peanut flavor. It no. is. Um, I don't think it's bad. Now this we did not have to wait. We can, I'm still curious if oh. the square really says, oh, okay. it says it is. Oh, okay. So these, we have had Taylor's handmade before. The br different brittles, they come in bags like this, but they're different colors. And... So this is made with peanuts and real butter. This is the salted caramel brittle. It's eight ounces, 227 grams. Since 1990, the Taylor family has been producing great quality candy and snacks. We take pride in our company, the products we produce, and the people who make it. Please look for other Taylor's products at your local retailer or for purchase online. So these, I think, I'm thinking we've always found these at like Home Goods, someplace like that. I've never seen them in like a grocery store. This, uh, they are made in 
Allsip, Illinois, www.taylorscandy.com, taylorscandy.com. Eight servings, one square piece. 28 grams is 130 calories. Yeah, close to that. Okay. Well, this is like half. Yeah. yeah. So, let's see if I can get a whole piece. It measured about half. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a whole piece. Oh, this is a good size. What is that? That's 22. These aren't as big as the ones we've had before. The squares that we had before looked more like that. Like they were like, like two of these put together was a square. But I'm not seeing, it looks like they purposefully cut these into sticks. Mm -hmm. Whereas the other, the other time it wasn't like that. So this is, this is cut different. This isn't cut into a square. It's cut into a rectangle. Okay. Maybe that's 100,000. Oh. They're, they're olives. Cause somebody messed up. Those two together is 28 grams. Mm. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Nice and salty. Oh, it's just salted. That is delicious. That is sweet too. Hard on your teeth though. Mm-hmm. I probably shouldn't get things like this for you to review. Then we end up at the dentist. Mm-hmm. You can't have any more. <laughs> Um, this is definitely the sweetest thing here. It's all in your teeth. It's also the best tasting thing here. Oh, yeah. If you have trouble with your teeth at all, if you have dentures, you probably won't be able to eat this because it's hard. It's it really is, hard. It is a, it's a it's thick. It's not the soft brittle, it's the hard brittle. No, it's thick, it's hard. Um, it, it probably could crack something in your mouth. It probably could. So, um... I just would want you to know that. However, it is delicious, and yeah. I love it. All my crowns are still there. Love salty, love sweet, um, love the caramel flavor. It does. It really does get stuck in your teeth, though. Um, they're really good. I like yes, them. very, very I good. Like so the, I like the addition of the salt too. Yes, it puts it over the edge. That's actually the only thing here I'd buy. Um. Well, yeah, and I hate to say that because I know some people can't have stuff like this. Um, but well, those topic other peanuts are just as bad. Yeah, you probably won't want these either because they really are crunchy. You're gonna I almost think those are worse. The easiest thing to eat is the cereal is, stuff. Or well, the popcorn, the popcorn yeah. was pretty easy too. The popcorn. Um, well, I'm just. And, and that, that, I would never get that French squirrel again. That yeah. was just absolutely. It literally amazing. needs to be like half that price, and even then, I don't even know if I would want. If I you could do it at home. Price. You could do that at home, really. Um, I would never Make, get that again. What's that called? Uh, white trash or uh, reindeer poop or any of those things are a hundred times better than that thing. Yeah, um, I would get Taylor number one, Pop Crunch. What was it called? Big Dipper. I would get Big yeah. Dipper number two. And then I would get the toffee coated number three, and I would never get the French squirrel again. I, I really, truly, I would only buy the brittle. Yeah, I can understand that. Because there's is, better caramely peanut popcorn. Right, but Kevin could not buy this. And honestly, I wouldn't feel comfortable eating a bunch of it either. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just too hard. Because it, it's going to be really, really hard. Because we have said some brittles that were softer, mm -hmm. and they were excellent. And they were, but they were a softer crunch. Exactly. Um, they were, and they tasted just as good as, if not better than that. So yeah, I think I would go for that. This just isn't that kind of brittle, but I do think it, the flavor is great. Yeah, this is more like glass-like brittle. Yeah. So I'll have a picture of each one of these for you at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.